Hey, what is up everyone? In this video, I am, I'm excited, that's what I am, because we are starting a new section and we actually get to do some useful things in this upcoming section. So we've talked about a whole bunch of different basic stuff and now we can start to piece sections of code together to create things called functions. So we've used functions before and they're useful to us, but now we can create our own functions. This is essential if we wanna build any complex application because just writing everything line by line is going to give us um, nightmares probably, and it's not gonna really allow us to build anything too complex. So let's go through from the very beginning what a function is, how to create them, and over the next few videos, we'll be adding a little bit more complexity each video. So make sure you stay tuned for the next few videos. And we're just gonna start with the basics. So let's say I wanted to print to the console. We might say something like, hey there. So let's say we're trying to greet someone, right? So we say, hey there, and then we do another print. We'll say something like, welcome, Caleb. So we run this and we get exactly what we expected in the console, nothing crazy. But if we wanted to do it two times in one run, well, what we could do is we could copy and we could paste it in here like so. And we run it and it works three times, it's great. But then what if I wanted to change my name, right? I no longer wanted to be Caleb and I wanted to upgrade to Kaleeb. Well, in this situation, I would have to go through and change every single occurrence, which that's lame because more than likely I'm gonna forget because my brain is like a potato and we're going to introduce bugs into our software. So we don't want to have repeating code and that principle is called dry, don't repeat yourself. And we're just going to fix this by creating a function. So to do that, we say def, then we give it a name such as greet. We can make, make up whatever we want. We could call it, I literally can't think of a single other name. We could call it roller coaster if we wanted. All right, and then you put parentheses and a colon. And then just like with an if statement or a while loop, we indent and we put all of the code for this function here. So now what we can do is we can do that print inside of here and say, hey there, and then print, welcome, Caleb. So essentially what we're doing is we're taking a few lines of code and we're putting them in a group. And this concept of a group is known as a function. And we can invoke or call this function to execute those lines of code. You may have heard of the terms subroutine or method or any other variations, but they're all pretty much the same concept. We give a name to a section of code and we can invoke it numerous times. So now all we have to do is say greet. I kill this terminal because I accidentally did the one thing. Run this and we get, hey there, welcome Caleb. But the cool part is I can invoke this numerous times. So I can just paste this and every single time it's going to run the same exact code. And if I decide to change my name for some reason, well now running this, it changes every single occurrence. So if I wanted to summarize the benefits, here they are. The first is that we can save lines of code if the function is large. Rather than repeating the code over and over again, we can just create a function and invoke that function numerous times. It creates one source of truth, so you don't repeat yourself. You need changes, then you just have to update one spot. And ultimately it can improve code readability because seeing this function call greet is very easy to understand what's going on and you don't have just a bunch of code polluting all your files. And you'll see that more clearly as we go on. So that is your absolute basic beginner introduction to functions and now we're going to make them more useful and a little bit more general to be used for more purposes. So stay tuned for the next one.